Both teams out of timeouts. Gonzaga in the double bonus. UCLA shooting one and one. Zags with the 71-68 lead after leading big in the first half, 37 to 20. Adam Morrison has 24 points. Coach Howland's team, though, continues to fight. They've got to play serious defense for the next 26 seconds and try to keep this a one-possession game. They give it to the All-America. Morrison in the backcourt. And he quickly gets it over the midcourt line. Hands it off to Rivio, the point guard. They give it to Morrison, guarded by Farma. Step back jumper deep. Off the heel. Loose ball. And a foul. On who? It will go, I believe, against Batista. Take a look, Morrison, drive to the baseline, the fadeaway, good defense by Farmar. And there's Batista right <laughs> I didn't see a foul on that one either. I saw a pretty good block out by both guys, unless there was some hand play that undetected by the replay angle. Not a bad man to foul. Hollins, a 60% free throw shooter. One and one, gets the first. 71, 69. Well, the problem is UCLA, if they make or miss, they've got a foul. Instead of making a good stop and getting an opportunity to shoot the three for the tie. Second free throw, good. 71-70. So even with two made free throws, UCLA will still have a chance if they can rebound to tie this game up. Pendergraft, the inbounder on the baseline. And the only guy that you might think of fouling is Jeremy Pargo at 69%. They throw it to Morrison. He holds on. You don't want to foul Morrison. You make him get it over half court. You know you got to foul. And oh. a steal! Farmer! Inside! The freshman up! Oh, and they go in front! Rivio! Last chance to dance! Unbelievable! Oh, what a game! Unbelievable! What a game! On UCLA! Kidding me? After being down by 17, Heartbreak City! Holy mackerel! Two point six to go! UCLA has climbed the mountain! A Flalo fouled with 1.9 to go. And he will shoot two. Adam Morrison, is this it for him? After leading the entire ball game. The nation's number two scorer went down earlier. Now Adam Morrison, the leading scorer in the nation, needs a miracle. As a flalo goes to the line, an 80% free throw shooter. He's left the door open for a miracle or occur. And they've got to put it in the hands of Morrison. Second free throw is good. Hollins comes into the game. He'll guard the ball. Pendergraft the inbounder. On any long pass, trying to get it to half court, you still want to go after the ball like you're a cornerback. In the front court, Batista with the catch! And that's it! What a comeback! UCLA defeats Gonzaga 73-71 after being down by 17. As I mentioned, you've seen so many of these shots get hit because you don't go after the ball aggressively. That time, Batista still makes the catch, but not in a good position. you got to go after the ball like you're a quarterback in football. UCLA very fortunate, but then again, they earned this one. 
winning basket right here. Batista, kind of casual with the ball, gets it taken away, and then look at the vision by Farmar, finding Umba Amute. Presence of mind, you play the worst that you could play in the first half, go down 17, and you get a young team like this to show this kind of character and poise. And the flip side, you get a veteran team that falls apart at the end. Unbelievable. And that tells a story in what could be the final game of the career of Adam Morrison, our Chevrolet players of the game. Ryan Hollins was terrific for UCLA, and Adam Morrison, 24 points. UCLA down 71 to 62 with 3.27 left. They get the last 11 points of the game to win. And we have a one versus a two in Oaktown. Adam Morrison, is that the final time he plays in college? We'll see. UCLA moves on dramatically, 73-71.